this is a Runkholz, one of our highly venomous snakes. Um, it has both a neurotoxic and cytotoxic venom, but in most of the bites that we see, we see more cytotoxicity. We see pain, swelling, and a bit of tissue damage. Although we regard it as one of our deadly snakes, we haven't had a fatality in over 40 years. So it does resemble a cobra. It uh, makes a hood, but it's not a true cobra. True cobras are egg-laying. Uh, true cobras have smooth body scales, whereas these snakes are live bearers and they have keeled body scales. So Runkos produce uh, about 20 to 30 young at a time, uh, as many as 60, and the babies are perfect rep replicas of the adults. Up in the high felt in Gauteng, they are a light to dark gray or blackish color with one or two or three white bars on the chest. But when you get into parts of the Eastern Free State, KwaZulu-Natal and the Cape provinces, they have yellow or orange bars down their body. They feed on toads, they'll take rodents, they'll take eggs, and they will even eat other snakes. One thing that you have to be very careful of with the Runkholz is it's well known for playing dead. So what the snake would do is lie on the ground, turn its body upside down, leave its mouth agape, and it will look like a dead snake. And if you try and touch that snake or pick it up, there's always the danger that it might latch out and, uh, and bite you. Like the Mozambique spitting cobra, it's a spitter, and it can eject its venom up to about three meters in distance. Uh, venom in the eyes obviously causes intense pain and uh, should that happen you need to get to a medical doctor. The first aid in the short term is to rinse the eyes with a lot of water. But do go and see a doctor because they will need to check for corneal damage.